What gets me is when people get offended at something, but they think something more offensive is funny. They'll just be like, I love dead baby seal jokes, but don't you ever make fun of camel toes. Like, what? There's no fucking consistency, and I just need to... And I need to be a hypnotist with comedy and read the invisible morality. You know, because you might be offended at something that you might not be, and vice versa. And just to be safe in this new world, we should outlaw the alphabet, because there are some hurtful words in those letters. <laughs> so annoying. Everybody's different, you know? I could stand here with my pants around my ankles crying for 45 minutes. Most of you think it's disturbing. Some of you would call me a genius. <laughs> and say, this is modern art, yes. I just got to say, if you think you're going to come to a comedy show and get offended, you know, don't, don't come to a comedy show, you know? Maybe don't. Don't come to a comedy show. Don't walk down the street. Don't leave your house. Just, just die. I don't know why people come to comedy shows and get offended. It's so weird. It's like ordering a Philly cheesesteak at a vegan restaurant and yelling at the waiter when he doesn't show up with it. It's like, what do you think was gonna happen? It's so weird. I like some people throw this out. They love saying the year. They're just like, ah, uh, stop with the hate. It's 2019. Like the year dictates our morality now, right? You know, it's like, because this is the latest year, we should be better people. Like two years ago, it was fine to be a bigot, but now it's cool. It's like, it's 2017. It's fine to wear blackface, but just remember in 750 days, time to wash it off, because it'll be 2019. <laughs> Why don't we just do the months? Just be like, how dare you go gay bashing? It's January. You're acting like it's April. <laughs> All right? We've evolved in 70 days. Hello, it's 1865. Slavery was so last year. <laughs> it's 1946. How dare you joke about World War II? Hitler just died last week. <laughs> I love offended Nazis. They're funny. <laughs> comedy and censorship, they go hand in hand because sometimes people want to have a comedy show and I get hired for it, but then they tell me to not really do anything. I was in Portland and in, uh, a very progressive, weird kind of event. It was a fundraiser. And, and the man who hired me is like, oh, before you perform, could you maybe not swear? And he's like, no problem. I won't force that on people. He's like, oh, speaking of forcing on people, don't do jokes about sexual assault. I'm like, okay, could I do jokes about sexual consent? He's like, well, there's some people here that might not be getting laid, so I wouldn't do those either. <laughs> like, fabulous. Oh, speaking of fabulous, don't do any gay jokes. Could I do knock-knock jokes? There might be some homeless people here and they don't have doors. Can I mention the weather? This is a skin cancer fundraiser. Don't bring up the sun. This is nuts. Speaking of nuts, don't mention peanuts. Some people are allergic to jokes. Jesus Christ. Oh, speaking of Jesus, don't mention the Bible. Some people haven't finished the book yet. Hashtag spoiler. Well, what can I mention? Well, this is the United States of America, so racism is fine. 